TFRs or temporary flight restriction. They may be issued by the FAA whenever an incident or accident has occurred that has a potential for attracting a number of aircraft that may cause a hazard to those attempting to rescue or those persons on the ground. For example, a fire, earthquake, aircraft accident, presidential visit, whatever. The FAA notifies pilots of TFRs via the no TEMS. That's why it is imperative that pilots check no TEMS and the FAA controlling facilities ahead of flight. The NOTAM will contain information pertaining to the actual location, dimension, duration of the TFR, and information of which the aircraft are permitted to operate within the TFR, generally 2,000 feet AGL and 2 to 3 nautical mile radius around the site. Aircraft that may operate within the TFR and aircraft aiding in disaster relief as approved by the FAA and IFR aircraft properly cleared by ATC. Checking out all the TFRs around the country is really interesting by going to skyvector.com and just toggling the this layer of TFR or temporary flight restriction. Realistically, if you want to check current and accurate TFRs, you need to go through 1-800 weather brief. But this is really interesting because I want to show you some stuff. Take a look at the different colors here and the different colors here. So this one is red and it's an active TFR. This one is orange and it's a presidential VIP or a VIP visit that's going to happen or about to happen. And so because it's the color orange, it's not active yet, but it will be soon. For example, they may be doing some aerial demonstrations here from the surface up to what is that 15,000 feet, but we'll be live in 23 minutes, but it's not currently active right now. Again, don't rely on skyvector.com for up to the minute accurate representation of TFRs, although they are pretty accurate. Uh, you need to do 1-800 weather brief. I just like the interactivity of skyvector.com. So you can look across the country and see all of these different TFRs for different reasons, like these ones down down here near the border for security, presumably for some major operations that are going on with a border patrol and, you know, who knows. And then over here we have some TFRs. This is in Los Alamos. So in California here, this is uh, what LAX over here. So we have a TFR for security and we have a TFR that's coming up, this orange one, for a baseball game that's going to be live in four hours. So... TFRs are also kind of interesting to look at for, let's say, like um, aerial firefighting um, information. Uh, flight hazard. Ooh, here we go. This one here. This is, uh, where is this? This is Utah, right? Salt Lake City, Utah. So south, uh, what is that? West of Utah there. Out in this area, there's a space launch that's happening here. And it's going to be live in uh, one day and 17 hours. You can see down, down below. Anyways, these are all different TFRs or temporary flight restrictions. They could be for any number of reasons. Always, always, always check no TEMS prior to flying for any pertinent TFRs that may have popped up on your route of flight. Don't want to get caught with your pants down.